Hello. Uh, I want to read just the last few lines. I'm going to omit some of them, and certainly most of the poem. The poem is 29 pages long, and um, it's Kaddish, written by Allen Ginsberg. Kaddish is the Jewish prayer for the dead, and this is written for his mother. Uh, when Allen Ginsberg reads it, it takes I think nearly an hour for him to read it, um, so it's a very long poem. One of the things I particularly like about the end of it is how is the rhythm, the, the staccato rhythm. He stayed up uh, injecting methamphetamine for 40 hours while writing this poem. And toward the end of the poem, supposedly, as, as, as I know the story anyway, uh, he was up for 40 hours shooting speed. And um, toward the end of this poem, it begins to feel like someone coming down from an amphetamine high. Um, it s starts to sound and feel a bit like uh, a record, uh, a needle on, an, on a vinyl record, sort of hitting the, uh, the end of the record, <laughs> back and forth. And it, it's one of the reasons I like it for that rhythm. And also, it's an extraordinarily moving poem. I'll try and give you a brief history. His mother was men very mentally ill. She was schizophrenic. At age 12, Allen Ginsberg was told by his father uh, to take his mother on the train and go to uh, upstate New York and try and find a sanatorium that would accept her. His father couldn't afford to take to not open the shop for a day. So Allen Ginsberg, at age 12, took his very schizophrenic mother on the train and would get off in various little towns and go to the sanatoriums there. And uh, as he described it, things would go well uh, f f in the beginning, and then she would go very crazy and get very loud and uh, disruptive. And that's when they would say, oh, sorry, but we won't take her. And uh, after many, many tries, he finally found a place that would accept her came back to New York City and told his father that he had found a place for his mother. And his um, a father was very upset with him that he had left his mother alone in the sanatorium. And, um, and you know, you have to remember, this is a 12-year-old boy being left in charge. It must have been a very, very difficult situation, torn between lo love for his mother and also um, I think probably being frightened because she was schizophrenic and she hallucinated and was ter she herself was terrified by the hallucinations. So some of the references uh, are about that. Oh mother, what have I left out? Oh mother, what have I forgotten? Oh mother, farewell with a long black shoe, farewell with Communist Party and a broken stocking. Farewell with your old dress and long black beard around the vagina. Farewell with your sagging belly, with your fear of Hitler, with your mouth of bad short stories, with your fingers of rotten mandolins, with your arms of fat Patterson porches, with your belly of strikes and smokestacks, with your chin of Trotsky in the Spanish War, with your voice singing for the decaying, overbroken workers, with your nose of the smell of pickles of Newark, with your eyes, with your eyes of Russia, with your eyes of no money, with your eyes of false China, with your eyes of starving India, with your eyes pissing in the park, 
with your eyes of America taking a fall, with your eyes of your failure at the piano, with your eyes of your relatives in California, with your eyes of Ma Rainey, with your eyes of Czechoslovakia attacked by robots, with your eyes going to painting class at night in the Bronx, with your eyes running naked out of the apartment screaming down the hall, with your eyes strapped down on the operating table, with your eyes with the pancreas removed, with your eyes of appendix operation, with your eyes of ovaries removed, with your eyes of shock, with your eyes of lobotomy, with your eyes of stroke, with your eyes alone, with your eyes, with your eyes, with your death full of flowers. Caw, caw, caw. Crows shriek in the white sun over the gravestones in Long Island. Lord, 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 Naomi, underneath this grass, my half-life, my own as hers. Caw, caw, my eyes be buried in the same ground where I stand in angel. Lord, Lord, great eye that stares on all and moves in a black cloud. Caw, caw, strange cry of things flung up into the sky over the waving trees. Lord, Lord, O oh grinder of giant beyonds, my voice in a boundless field in Sheol. Caw, caw, the call of time rent out of foot and wing an instant in the universe. Lord, Lord, an echo in the sky, in the wind, through ragged leaves, the roar of memory. Caw, caw, all years my birth a dream. Caw, caw, New York, the bus, the broken shoe, the vast neighborhood. Lord, 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 caw, 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 Lord, 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 caw.